No, it's all good. I am just so sore from shoveling ice oh, this morning. I, oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. Well, good morning, everybody. It is January, and you know, I've been here a year now. You are, I went you through have, a, yeah. I went through a January here. You did. I think I shoveled snow a half a dozen times last year. You did not go through a normal January. And this year, year, I have shoveled, if not two or three times a day, uh, yeah. at least, you know, three oh. or four times a week. It is, and this morning, another, yeah. I don't have anywhere to put the snow. Nobody does, Jeff. It's crazy. Nobody has a place for the snow. <laughs> uh, this is not a normal January okay. either. I'm yeah. sure people have told you that already. You'll probably hear it. So we're, we're getting the extremes we, before you kind yeah, of feel normal, it. <laughs> normal is somewhere in the middle. And um, maybe that's why we call it a happy medium. Uh, <laughs> and, you yeah. know, it, I, I was thinking this morning as I was shoveling the ice <laughs> that when I was younger, living at home and whenever I would grumble about the rain on Vancouver Island, right? Mm -hmm. And you get those those months where it seems like it's rained every day mm -hmm. and you're like, mm -hmm. where is the rain going to go? Like, is no, is there like, is someone building an ark? Like I thought yeah. God said this wouldn't happen again. <laughs> and, um, all my, you know, anytime we complained to my dad, it was always the same thing. Well, at least you don't have to shovel it. At least you don't have to shovel yeah. it. I think today, I finally understand <laughs> what he meant. I was a when, little irritated this morning too. When I, when I got up this morning yeah. and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go brush the car off and, mm -hmm. and then I'll come in and warm up and go. And I went out and the snow plow had come through <laughs> and just piled up all this snow in front of our house. You know, at and, least you have a snow plow. <laughs> well, you see, and this is, this is part of it. It's yeah. like, I went to bed and the road was good. Mm -hmm. And then before mm -hmm. the snow really started falling, they felt like it wasn't good. And they, mm -hmm. and I'm like, and then I'm driving here and I'm like, there's roads that are more major. They're like bus routes that haven't been plowed. And I'm like, why, why are they plowing me yeah. in? Anyways, uh, I know they're just plowing the roads they're told to plow, but it's it, it's it's a it, you know I'm I'm ready I, I'm ready, <laughs> ready for, for spring. Springtime. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, we got a couple more months, man. Uh, but uh, if we're if we're allowed to zoom out a little bit, I, I actually really do kind of like it. Like it's just kind of cool to go out there and be like, oh, wow, you know. You know what's so, cool is I was out there in uh, board shorts and a hoodie really? shoveling. Oh man. And I wasn't even wearing <laughs> socks in my boots oh, and man. I was sweating like crazy. Oh wow. And that's when you just hope there'll be like a bus of American tourists come by <laughs> and be like, we found them, <laughs> we found the Canadian. Uh, because yeah, it, and, yeah. and part of me does delight a little bit in yeah. playing to that stereotype. but. <laughs> It's it's also just survival. Well, it's way too hot with my. I'm family. still my American. I was my hands were freezing, but anyways, we don't need yeah. to talk more about the snow. You guys got stories too, well, um, but uh, yeah. Isn't, isn't talking about the weather a national pastime? <laughs> <though? laughs> uh, speaking of um, you know the season though, yes. like we just exited um, the 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 Christmas and New Year's, and we are kind of in. We're not kind of the middle yet, still. Oh, 2022 is new, but you were on the island, and you I was. told you told me and a couple of us uh, some funny stories. You know, I just want to throw it open. Can you tell us a little? I, bit? I can tell you a few things. So I always enjoy, I, I enjoy spending time over Christmas with family on the island, and partly because it's always unpredictable. Partly this year more so than others because normally there's not snow right normally it's you always I always kind of go ah oh, yeah but if we stayed home maybe there'd be snow we're going to the island there's not going to be snow this time was snow and <laughs> it's probably enough snow to last a few years because I like it, it, it's it, anyways but it, it's unpredictable so New Year's Christmas was great you know we had Christmas Day with Sheena's parents and then a couple days later or the next day we we spent Boxing Day with my parents and uh, and then a couple days later, again, another Christmas part two, and it was all good. Um, we had some great discoveries this, or uh, New Year's especially. So we did a fondue with my in-laws and learned, my kids had never done fondue before. Mm -hmm. That was a new one. And I thought, we're gonna burn the house down because it's <laughs> like, you know, the hot oil and the flames and mm -hmm. then, you know, my kids reaching in and out of the pot. And I'm like, this is this is gonna be, whatever. but it was awesome. Did you do like cheeses and chocolates we and all didn't. that? We or? did, that night was just hot oil. We did a cheese fondue okay. the next day. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
which is awesome. I mean, I mean, hot melty cheese on yeah. stuff is just so good. Yeah. But the night before, it was just the hot oil, and we were cooking mm -hmm. meats and, and veggies and all. So it's it's probably probably worse for you than the cheese, to be honest. I'm sure yeah. all that oil is yeah. bad. But we learned that um, my one daughter, who normally hates all forms of meat, doesn't like it, likes fondue meat. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so you like deep fried <laughs> stuff. Long, okay, yeah. that's not surprising. Uh, she was all over that. Yeah. Um, my, they wanted to stay up till midnight because at midnight there's always fireworks. But like by 10 o'clock, my kids were pretty much, can we just go to bed? I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. So they're laying down, they're snoozing, they're reading books, but then they're up for fireworks because you can't sleep through that. Yeah. But the other big thing we learned is that um, snow does not make a great stable foundation for fireworks. And um, we did our best, myself and my brother-in-law and my father-in-law were setting up the fireworks. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're out there in the dark and we're, we're trying to, a lot of them had like, um, uh, they were like, you know, like pillars, mm -hmm. but they had like a little plastic base to them, a nice square mm -hmm. foundation. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, you note that Jesus didn't tell a parable about snow being a firm foundation. Um, <laughs> And, and so we, I set them out. We, it wasn't all me. It was me and, again, my brother-in-law and my father-in-law. We set them out. We tried to make them nice and firm. And mm -hmm. some we, like, taped to a fence. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and those did great. Those, those shot in the direction of everyone in which they were pointed. The fence never fell down. It was mm -hmm. really secure. But the ones that we set out on the snow and packed down and thought would be good, um, we had a few misfires. And uh, part of why it's fun is that you know it's never gonna go perfect. So a couple years ago, we were there, um, not quite for New Year's, we had an early fireworks show a couple days before, and you know, one accidentally, by mistake, got thrown in the bonfire nearby Ooh. and and almost hit my uh, another brother-in-law. It was really quite funny, because the rest of us were safe and he was okay, no one got injured. So you, so you kind of go into this going, yeah, and mistakes happen. <laughs> and uh, you need to be careful with fireworks and we were doing our best but sure enough a, a few fell over and um, by the way my youngest apparently the whole time was terrified even before the mishap started happening but it was the funniest fireworks show of my life because well like one fell over and started shooting towards you know the neighbor's house and like actually hitting the house and so they were <laughs> awake and then they were like shooting at us and we're running for our lives and, and it was just a, a it was a great night of playing dodgeball with fireworks. <laughs> By the way, uh, any parents of youth, we will never do that here, just in case you don't you're wondering. Try this at home. We will not try that at home. Uh, and so, no, it was good. It was, uh, yeah, it was it was fun. You know, you just kind of, oh, wow, that's great. And all of a sudden it's, ah, <laughs> they're coming at you. But uh, yeah, it's all good. We all live to tell about it. Uh, so I have a new understanding of Ezra's delight in bonfires. Must take after his dad. <laughs> well, he, he uh, you know what? There's no way that kid could not like fire. Mm -hmm. um, both his grandfathers really enjoy a good bonfire. We had one earlier on Christmas, on New Year's yeah. Eve day anyways. We were mm -hmm. roasting hot dogs because it's, it's just good. I'm just thinking fire, fireworks. Fire, all, fireworks, to do with, it is yeah. all good. It is all good. And so, oh, yeah, no, man. we had a lot of great moments. And, uh, mm -hmm. and you know, celebrating, ringing in the new year. Hmm. Um, you know, lots of sledding. Well, that just fun. makes us more happy that you're that you made it safely home, like <laughs> with the kind of stuff you're doing over there. But hey, yeah. it's <laughs> it's it is west. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a little wild. Yeah. So, yeah, lots of fun over the holidays, and um, and we're looking forward to a good year. Uh, on on Sunday. Mm -hmm. We will be kicking off a new series that's going to uh, be for a while in the Book of Mark. And so we're excited about mm -hmm. that. So you've marked your calendar? I've marked, I've marked my calendar with the yep, marks all over it. Um, and so, uh, so that's uh, something coming up. Also coming up uh, at the end Sorry, of just will you call the sermon series on your marks? <laughs> oh, that's a good is idea. That, is that up for grabs yet? You know, I, I haven't even settled on... Oh. Come on, you know, it's what, right there, Jeff. There, but that's a, that's a really on your marks? good idea, on your marks. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I totally I'll carry on for now, because yeah, I don't yeah. know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I just wrecked your train of thought, that's okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, more details to be determined on that. Mm -hmm. uh, coming up 
later in January, uh, likely the 30th, but um, we will nail that date down as our annual general meeting, mm -hmm. which uh, we want to make sure to invite everybody to uh, attend. Um, we would love your input um, on, on what's coming and, and some of the decisions we make, uh, yeah. you know, so whatever. Um, those are, are usually good meetings and um, oh yeah no they're very they're, informative and they're yeah. always good meetings they're mm -hmm. important meetings I think is the mm -hmm. best adjective to use there and so um, for those who are new to Lakeview I mean if you've come from a, a, a different sort of church structure um, we we are a congregation led uh, a church and so mm -hmm. it is the membership who decides things and some everything from you know which pastor to hire to uh, how to spend our money, um, you know, those big community decisions. A lot of the day-to-day -day stuff is just kind of trusted to, you know, the pastors and the other leaders to sort out. But electing the board is part of the business that the congregation has a hand in. And so we we do that work at our annual general meeting. Mm -hmm. And so um, I, I know most of you know this, and uh, if you haven't been part of that process at Lakeview, you know you're from another church that does that, but not every church does. And so uh, it's worth a little refresher every now and then. But that makes being a member um, important uh, because it's the members who get to vote. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyone can attend that meeting, even if you're not a member, you're welcome to come and participate. Um, but the voting aspect is reserved for members. And so, uh, but we say that today, even though we don't have the firm date for the meeting set, because if we tell you today, there's time for you to think about becoming a member. Mm -hmm. And uh, because at that meeting, we also welcome in new members. And mm -hmm. so uh, if you're not a member of Lakeview, and, and we say that, and member's a funny word, we, we don't have a better word for it, we just don't. But sometimes people are like, I've been coming to Lakeview for a year, how am I not a member? I thought I was a member just by coming. In some churches, that's the case. Uh, attendance equals membership, but at Lakeview, it's different. And actually, I think most Baptist churches, I don't know of a Baptist mm -hmm. church where it isn't that way. Um, and so, if you would like to know more about that, uh, we really would invite you to mm -hmm. uh, reach out to us, uh, drop an email, phone call, and just say, hey, tell me more about membership at Lakeview. And um, uh, we would love to have you. We'd love, uh, we're, well, we're glad you're coming, uh, but you know, if you wanna take that extra step and become a member, we'd really l invite you into that. And so the only um, requirement, if you will, before that is, is baptism, which, sort of indicates that you have a, a growing relationship with Jesus, but that you've then, in that growing relationship with Jesus, taken the step of baptism. And so uh, the other reason for telling you about this today is that there is time before that AGM for you to be baptized mm -hmm. if you're like, oh, yeah, I have been thinking about baptism. I have been, and, and so we um, it, let this be a prompt if you haven't been thinking about it, uh, but let it be the maybe the next uh, encouragement towards that if you have. Mm -hmm. so, um, reach out, get in touch with us, and uh, um, we would love. Oh man, there's there's few things as good as talking with people about baptism. Mm -hmm. Really, right? Yeah, Sitting on a couch like this mm -hmm. and hearing your faith story mm -hmm. and and what Jesus means to you, and then uh, and then get you know pr helping you share that with the whole community. Uh, in baptism is just it's a joy mm. yeah seeing how jesus is working in yeah. people's lives is always and expressing what he's doing Absolutely. as an example yeah. through others it, we just uh that's what we're about so mm -hmm. yeah encourage you to to think about that if you uh, would be interested um let us know call the call the church office uh, yeah. send us an email talk at lakeviewheightsbaptist.com um that is correct right Talk at Lakeview Heights Baptist dot com. Dot com. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. For some reason, I was mixing up the Lakeview Heights Baptist dot com website with email. No, they're they're the same. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mind mind blank there, but yeah, that's anyways, all right. It's all good. Hey, so, you know what? And and uh, <coughs> it's been below, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it'll, it'll, it, it's on the screen, so you know, take mm -hmm. that. You can also copy and paste from the video description below, or just go to LakeviewHeightsBaptist.com, which is our website, and mm -hmm. you'll find lots of different ways to connect with us there too. Yeah. And um, but um, yeah, we just those are some things that are coming. We uh, encourage you to 
be praying about that, uh, be praying for that process, uh, and we are excited to to see you on Sunday and um, and to move into 2022. Yeah. And move past January and February into spring, as you said. <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, we want to enjoy these these moments as well. So. God bless you and, and have a great week.